And I think throughout the course of the seven issues, you know, Batman says maybe five lines of this guy. <laughs> Uh, but Joker won't shut up. One of them is having the time of their life. Yeah, <laughs> the let's other, put it we, we can guess which one. Yeah. The <laughs> other one's living in hell. Hello, I'm Rosie Knight, and we are in the Den of Geek Suite. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Mark Silvestri. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you doing? Doing great. What a show. You're at all the conventions with Top Cow. You know, you, yeah. you guys always have a table. Got it right there. Oh, Got to represent. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you know, right? what a coincidence. Um, I'm zoom in on that. <laughs> how does it feel this year, obviously still repping Top Cow, but being here as a part of DC and telling this, you know, DC story, which I think is your first DC interior since like 96 or something. Yeah, and, and that was just a pinup. You know, that was just a, bla a Batman black and white pinup that I did. Uh, but I actually started my career at DC. For a year, I was doing these books like House of Mystery and the Ghosts, cool which stuff. nobody... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the good a, stuff. A great place to learn because nobody cares. You yeah. know? So you can make all the mistakes you want, and it's all under the radar. But, you know, Jim Lee and I have been friends, obviously, for more than 30 years. Since he became the man over at DC, it's like, hey, when are you going to come do a Batman something? <laughs> Come, you do a great Batman. Come on, do Batman. I was like, dude, you know, I have a business to run. You know, I, got, <laughs> I have a life to lead. It's like, oh, it's, it's, and finally, it's like, I went, okay, I'll pitch this idea. Because I love Batman. Of you course. Know, who doesn't, who love, doesn't Batman? love Batman? You know, and I grew up on the TV series. You know, So it's like, I was like okay. Um, and I think it was either Dan DiDio. I think it was Dan that I pitched it, the idea to. It's like, you know what? This is how I get out of this, right? I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna pitch, pitch this idea. They won't take. <laughs> but it's yeah, because like Batman's 80 years old, right? And it's like they must have done this a million times. So okay, look, this is what I want to do. I just want to do a Batman Joker team up where they have to fight together against a new common enemy. So I'm out. It's like, no, it's a great idea. <laughs> It was Bob Harris, actually. It was Bob oh, Harris. And he was like, I love time. it. And I'm going, what? <laughs> uh, you haven't done this like a million times already? And he's going, no, we haven't. Yeah, it's like, I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm, in my head, I'm going, this writes itself. You know, this should have been done a million times. And it's like, no, no, this is great. It's like, let's do that. And it's like, oh, crap. Okay, well, I guess I'm doing Batman. It's like, <laughs> which is great because I love Batman. But uh, on the other hand, it's like, I have things to do. Um, so back then, uh, the original, you know, I had the story in my head, like where it starts and where it winds up. Uh, when I was talking to Bob, you know, I, I said, okay, this is, what I, this is where it's going to go. I said, well, you know, you know, you don't have to worry about continuity. Mm -hmm. right? Just do your own standalone thing, and it'll be evergreen. It can be whatever it is, and just don't worry about it. I was like, oh, that's cool. And this was before Black Label. Yeah. Right? So this was like seven years ago. I was like, oh, that's actually very cool. Because I can do whatever I want, right? It's like, well, yeah, just don't kill people until you tell us. You know, it's like, <laughs> but all right, I, I can say this because it's out of continuity. You know, I can do things to people. Yeah. And um, you know, like, Jim Gordon goes through the, through some things. <laughs> Doesn't he you know? always? Yeah, but he goes shots. through some. Yeah, he goes through some <laughs> things. Right. Yeah. So he loses things, like body parts. <laughs> I All like right. that. Well, I was going to say, so the first issue yeah. that I was lucky enough to read, I mean, like you said, people might be being like, well, Mark, you're just writing a comic, but you wrote and drew this comic. Yeah. So this was no joke when you're running a publisher. This is a yeah. lot of work. So what was that kind of experience like of not only getting that free reign, but also having full creative control over every aspect of making? It was, um, you know, I've, I've been at this for, you know, yeah. since 1981. <laughs> That's right. So I started when I was three. Right? <laughs> um, you know, people always say, how do you, after a certain amount of time, how do you like stay fresh or do you mm -hmm. even care? Do you just give up? You know, you just, you just dial it in or call it in. Yeah. It's like, no, you can't. You know, you, you have to kind of keep yourself going creatively if you're a creative person. You know, and in this business also, it's like uh, you want to challenge yourself. And this was the opportunity for me to challenge myself. So to try something new, which was not only writing it, but also penciling it and also inking it in a style that I hadn't really done before, mm -hmm. which was kind of this old school, heavy line work style, like mm -hmm. old school illustrative style, like Franklin Booth type stuff. And it's like, okay, that was great. And the first issue was like, wow, that was a lot of work. And I still have 
six more to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's very horror-y. So just because it's yeah. like Halloween, could you just kind of tease a little bit of that? Because right. the first issue really gets into it. So just before we finish, could you just kind of tease the that horrible journey they're going to go on? Yeah, it sets it all up in the first issue. And uh, it, it sets up the situation where the Joker and Batman are now partners, mm -hmm. right? And... I hope it makes sense, but you know, it does. <laughs> uh, when you see it, it's like, it's oh, okay, good. that's why Batman's agreeing to this, um, and it's just, you know, it gets dark again because it's black label. You can push the envelope a little bit, and um, it there is a lot of horror elements to it, but it's also a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it's like Joker says a lot of Joker things, <laughs> and I think throughout the course of the seven issues, you know, Batman says maybe five lines of this guy. <laughs> Uh, but Joker won't shut up. One of them is having the time of their life. Yeah, <laughs> the let's other... put it that. We, we can guess which one. <laughs> yeah. The other <laughs> one's living in hell. Thank you so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Really My pleasure. It. It such a joy. Yeah.